Hello guys, today in this video, I like to show you how to fetch the data in Laravel views using data table and Ajax. So let's begin. So at first I'll start my VS code here and I'll go to one folder, Laravel project. Uh, okay, I'll just remove this, all those things. Here I'll create one project, Laravel project, composer. Uh, create project Laravel slash Laravel and I'll give the project name demo123 here okay now I have to wait for a few min uh, minutes let me see how much time does it take okay completed now I'll just go to project folder CD demo123 Okay, now I'll just write PSP artisan serve to start my program. Now I'll just enter and click on the URL. Here it is. My new project has already has been created. Now um, I'll just start my database, my SQL database, my SQL so root dash p. Okay. Now I'll just show database. So databases here today I'll use my database NC so I'll just write huge NC okay now I'll just write so tables okay here I have the list of tables so for today I'll use the products table uh, what is there let me see uh, select all from uh, products here okay here I have one row one row uh, now to face this data in Laravel using data table and Ajax, I'll go to VS Code and I'll just start my new terminal here and I'll just write CD demo one two three. Okay, now here it is my project and at first I'll go to route here. Here it is my route. Now I'll just make one controller uh, ESP partition make controller uh here or do you see ts product uh, product controller okay one controller has been created now i'll create one model esp artisan make uh, model i'll just write product model okay now i'll go to inside the app uh, there is http and inside http controller and here it is product controller now i'll create one controller for route so what i'll write here public function public function uh, products i'll just give the function in products here i'll just write a written view okay i don't have a uh, product table view so i'll create one view and for that we have to go uh, inside the resources there is view folders and inside the view we'll just create one file and i'll name the file name of pro as products table dot blade dot psp okay now what i have to write inside this view is i have to name i have to write the name of the blade file so i'll write product products table okay now uh, i have to use this uh, controller in my route so for that here at the off i'll just use app uh, we are giving the path of our controller here is the path app and inside the app we are just going inside the http and inside the http we are going to controllers uh, controllers and inside the controllers we have our controller product product controller okay now what we will do for that we'll just make one new route route uh, get okay and here we'll use product name a uh, controller name product controller class and we'll use here the function name okay uh, we can say that the class name uh, product 
okay i'll just keep here inside the product and we'll just give a url for this that is products okay now when we just click on slash and select products here we don't have anything so for today we'll add a we'll use a bootstrap to show the table so for that i'll just say right here bootstrap oh you get bootstrap here i have i think i have to go to docs and inside the docs here i'll get one bootstrap ready-made uh, code so i'll just copy this and i'll just paste inside here and now let me see when i reload it it says hello world okay now i'll just rename this to my products here the use it as products okay now here also i'll just write uh, my products okay when i just reload here here it is now i'll just keep that on the center so for that i'll just give the bootstrap class here let's write here text center okay when i reload okay here it is now to show the data uh, i just have to make a model here i have already made one model and inside here i'll just write uh, protected dollar table i am specifying here the table name uh, table name with its primary key so next thing what i need to do is i just write protected dollar primary key equals to product id okay now i have to use this model in my controller that is product controller so in inside here at the top what i'll write huge app slash and models slash uh, max slash and i'll just write uh, model name what is our model name product uh, product model okay here it is now uh, to face this data what we need to do for that we'll make a new uh, function i'll just write public function so data i'll just name the function name so data and here i'll write dollar products dollar products equals to uh, i'll just write the name of the model product model and i'll use all function here now it will fetch all the data from the product table now what i'll write here return uh, response i'll just return my uh, data in json format so here inside i'll just write data data okay dollar products dollar products okay now i have to make the route for this function so let me just copy this route and i'll paste here and i'll just write the route name um, so data so data and i have to give the function name here function name is so data so data okay i'll just write here so data so product data okay my controller is same so i'm not going to change it now when i just go to my browser and i'll just change the path url and just write here enter it says unknown database laravel okay i have not connected my database hence see here so for that what i need to do is i have to go to dot uh, go to this environment.env file and inside here i have to just change my database name to nc okay now let me just reload it here it is i'm just getting uh, my uh, database data in json format here uh, uh, this is the same data as it is shown in here so to show this data in uh, views table so what i need to do is I have to go to product table dot blade dot PSP. Uh, here I'll just create one table 
HTML table okay now inside this HTML table I'll just write T8 T8 okay now inside this T8 I'll write TR I'll just close TR TR means table row and here I'll write TH slash TS means table heading I want to show only two data here so I'll just give two heading here and in one heading I'll write uh, product ID and the next I'll write product name okay now let me go here and I'll just write here uh, what is my route name here products okay I'll just type here products here it is my table so I'll add a bootstrap in my table so for that I have to give here the class bootstrap class I'll just write here table when I just give a table class here and here it is the magic now I'll give this product ID and product name at the center uh, for that I'll just write here text center okay now I'll give the heading color for that I'll give class bootstrap class here bz as you see success I'll give green color so let me reload it here it is now I'll give the text white okay now when I reload here it is okay now uh, I have to import some data table and jQuery file here I have already kept on my notion the one that is working for me so I'll use that the same one here it is I'll just give this uh, URL oh URL on my description on my YouTube description so I have to just keep this at the top at the heading here it is okay okay I'll skip one F here okay now I have to write the script for the data table and as X script open script close here I'll write dollar document dot ready function and inside the function I have to give one curly bracket not square bracket okay now inside this I'll just write here var table dollar I'm now no, initiating initializing the data table here data table okay now to connect this um, script with my table I have to just add here table ID ID equals to I'll write here table okay now I am giving here table ID uh, sharp table okay now what I need to do after this I have to write here as X okay in as X inside as X I have to write URL and after URL type and after type I have to write data type okay and after that I have to write processing processing I have to set true server side processing and after that I have to write here columns I have to set the column uh, so here let me see now for now data data I have product ID product ID one is product ID and the second I have I have second uh, data slash product name this should be similar with uh, the table name product ID and product name okay now here I have to just uh, give here the URL and uh, that URL should be with the the one that we are uh, returning the uh, JSON uh, data in the JSON format and uh, that one is I think our this URL I have to put this URL inside this blade file URL here it is and the type we are uh, uh, we are just getting our data is in get format in get method so here I'll write get and the data type our data type is in JSON format so 
let me reload this table here okay we have already got our one and our one product id one and the product name is mobile here it is it is the same one that we have we are getting in laravel using uh data table and ajax uh, we, uh, using the data table uh, we have uh, we can get many benefit like we, uh, we can get the ready-made source system here pagination system and we can just show the number of entries according to our wish in this way we can uh, face the data uh, data uh, data in laravel using data table and ajax i hope you understood this uh, video and i hope you like it thank you for today this much only